What is up you guys, thank you for talking about the channel once again, Jordan here. You know, in the past I've seen some of you ask about layering tips and layering advice and stuff that I would do. So I figured it's winter, so what better time to make a video on layering. Obviously winter is going to be different for everybody, so these are just my takes and what I would do for the winter that I experience. So hopefully you can get some inspiration from it and use it in your own wardrobe. So for the first look, I wanted to use a turtleneck as the base layering piece. And with that, I wanted to go with kind of like the same color palette. So we have tans, browns, lighter browns, some blacks, some coffees. Um, on top of the turtleneck, so the turtleneck is going to be your main piece. That's when it's going to keep you nice and warm, nice and cozy. But I also love a turtleneck because it's very in my opinion, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more classy. You know I love denim jackets, they're one of my favorite pieces. I sometimes use them in substitution for a suit jacket just because I think they're that versatile. However, with this look, the denim jacket is kind of more dressed up since the turtleneck um, gives it that more sophisticated look, which is something that I like. And then on top of that, if you want to kind of keep with that more edgy, kind of more rebellious look, I'm going with a freaking leather jacket because leather jackets are super awesome. This vintage one right here with the embroidery and all the different details just really kind of puts the outfit together. It's nice and slim so it doesn't make you look too bulky. And it's also going to keep you very, very warm. And on the bottom, we just have a pair of window pane brown trousers and another another vintage piece uh, when it comes to the boots. Moving on to look number two, I am also going to be using a turtleneck for the base layering uh, piece of the outfit. But instead of using a denim jacket and all that stuff, I'm going to be going with a vintage varsity cardigan. I love cardigans. Red is also my favorite color, so this is a no-brainer for me. It has awesome embroidery on the arm, on the uh, chest piece with the big S, and also the numbers. It just gives off a very collegiate vibe, a very athletic vibe, which is something that I look for. I like that in an outfit. I think it just gives it that vintage look, and I, I am all about the vintage look. But to complete the outfit, I just wanted to make it an all-black outfit, so you're not worried about any other colors kind of uh, battling with each other. Just the main piece is going to be the cardigan. So this is for a more mild winter, something that you can uh, kind of go out there and be comfortable with. Outfit number three is for you casual guys out there. Uh, the main layering piece here is going to be your classic staple black hoodie. I think every guy has one of these in their closets. If they don't, they should. They're like $15. <laughs> but to upgrade that hoodie and make it not look so casual pairing it with an overcoat just gives it gives the whole look an upgraded feel anybody can do it's gonna look amazing and I recommend wearing a hat with this outfit I mean you can go obviously uh, with your natural hair but I like a hat you can wear a baseball hat you can wear a fedora I chose a beanie um, just because it goes I like the vibe of it the the fisherman roll is a nice little touch to the whole outfit and I recommend either wearing a pair of high top like chucks uh, some freaking converse or some vans or a nice pair of boots like the uh, like the ones I'm wearing here. So this is just a nice casual outfit for you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. You can chuck this on, look casual, but also look uh, look pretty beast while you're doing it. And the last outfit is obviously going to be a suit. If you don't have a suit, this is the easiest and most dapper way to layer during the winter and it makes you look phenomenal, it makes you look neat, it makes you look super classic, dapper, timeless. I mean, how can you not like a suit in the winter? So obviously you're going to want a shirt and tie or a shirt and bow tie, whatever you feel like, whatever your style is. That is your first layer, then you have your suit jacket, obviously it's going to be your second layer. That's going to keep you warm pretty much from the get-go anyways, but if you want to take it to the next level, what I love to do is throw on an overcoat, and this is where you can really make your outfit look amazing because this is where you get your staple overcoats and you can just wear that bad boy and it's going to pull everything together. You're going to look so sick. You're going to look so neat and dapper. It's just such an easy and sexy way to look good in the winter by suiting up. And on top, you can either go natural hair, but for me, I've been watching Peaky Blinders and I'm in love with the way they look, so I'm gonna be wearing a newsboy cap or a fedora, either one works. Um, but that is basically it with a suit. I mean, you're good to go. Anything looks good in a suit and you'll be fine. <laughs> All 
Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed. These are the outfits that I wear when it comes to layering. This is kind of the stuff that I do. I know there's a lot of other things when it comes to layering that you can do, but this is just for my style. This is what I do, so I hope you could draw some inspiration from it. Uh, use maybe some things here and there to upgrade or you know do something different with your outfits and your wardrobe. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm curious. I want to know which outfit you like the best and also what kind of layering things you do for the winter that you have. And I'll be talking to you guys very soon. All right.